welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Night of the Raven. Okay, so, um, in my last video, many of you got the impression that uh, my last video was going to be, well, basically the last video of this series, but when I meant it, this is the end of Night of the Raven or something like that, I don't remember what I said already, I was referring to the quests of Night of the Raven, um, not the actual Let's Play series. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna clear that through. So now, uh, let's just go to the monastery. Well, I've already done that. And let's read the letter that Sardis gave you. Let's see. It's probably this. Nope. Oh, that's the message that Satras left behind. Oh, there we go. I suspected blah 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 blah, whatever. Oh, okay, so the words you need to use to open the book holes of Vildarath are Zarak, Ben, Dardo, whatever. Anyway, so we need to open the book because apparently it's got the answers to everything, well, where the island is. Let's just do this first. All the dragons are dead. That is good news indeed, but it does nothing to change our situation, which seems hopeless. The Seekers still have not left. On the contrary, I hear more and more reports that during these last few days, their numbers have even increased. Killing off the dragons has dealt the enemy a blow, but it did not suffice. We need to dig this evil out by the roots. I talked to the dragons. What did they say? They kept talking about the power of their master, and how he settled in the halls of Irdarath. Enos be with us. The Black Temple has regained its power, and is now sending its henchmen into our world. What are these halls of Irdarath? The Eastern Invocation Temple of the God Beliar. There are four of them in the land of Mertana, but this one is probably the most terrifying temple of all. About 40 years ago, the northern and western temples of this horrible deity were destroyed. The brave knights of that time gave their all to raise those mighty constructions to the ground. Back then, the black hordes of the enemy were helpless against the superior numbers and the heroic courage of the knights and paladins. It would have been easy to destroy the other two temples as well and rid the land of evil forever. But after the second temple fell, they simply disappeared. Disappeared? An entire temple? Yeah, right. Do not mock me. The situation is serious. If the halls of Idareth have indeed regained their power, then it will not be easy to defeat the enemy. For that, you would have to find it first. And I think that this will be your next and hardest task. We shall see. Zardis's book, which was believed to be lost, where is it? I have been expecting you would ask that, but I fear that it will be of no help to you. It has been magically sealed. I took it to one of our lower vaults, and even we have so far tried in vain to open it. That accursed Zardas has played a dirty trick on us. Can I see the book? Be my guest. I cannot imagine you being successful where the greatest masters of our monastery have failed. But go ahead and give it a try. Talamon is not going to stop you. Well, um, if you haven't been to, well, the, um, <coughs> the dungeons, just go here and you should find it sooner or later. But you should be... You should have been here by now if you're a mage or you got the uh, sacred hammer that defends the stone or the magical golem, whatever. You are not permitted to go further. Turn back. Pyrocar says I'm allowed to examine Zardis's book. So he says that. All right, you may enter. The book you are looking for is over there on the alchemist bench. He's weird. Anyways, uh, the book, where is it? Uh, there's a few books around here. There we go, The Holt of Wrath. Now let's read it. Zarek Bandardo. Ah, the book. 
book's open. There's a letter and a key hidden inside. A letter and a key. Amazing. Uh, oh wait, let's just read that again. It has some puzzle, I think. So I concealed the entrance to the library behind a secret door to protect my t records of Belial's temples. If my brothers had known of these records, those fools would probably have destroyed them all. Now all they know is that these temples used to exist. Just to be sure, I have sworn s sworn some servants to protect the library. Library. What a tongue twist, jeez. The key opens the last door. Awesome. So we know that the key does something. But there was some strange note. The lamp carries light into the lower dungeons. Ha! Huh. So, here's the lamp. Down to the speed! Yay! Okay. Oh, this place is a uh, pain the butt. Basically, because there's a ton of skeletons here. And you'll see what else. Die. That was weird. Okay, well, um, it, this is firstly pretty much a maze, but it's easy to find the. I think it is easy to find where you need to go. If I remember correctly, you have to go here. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Aha, found it. I just killed these skeletons. Alright. Now the skeleton mage. That was easy. And now the skeleton. Alright, so this is pretty much... Well... If you want more XP, you can just go Nothing ahead here. and kill off everything else around here. Alright, so I got the key, let's open the last door. And if I remember correctly, there's like three demons inside here which are probably going to kill me all in one hit. So I'm just going to go and randomly use an all out attack on them, because I'm stupid. And there's the health three skeletons. Demon number one, bad guy. I just love doing this glitch because I can't get through the door. It's hilarious. Almost dead. Oh, Demon Lord. They give you some pretty good XP. If I remember correctly. Die, Demon. Die! Why is it running away from me? Okay. So, this took me much quicker than I expected. This entire Nothing library there. Th um, area took me only a few minutes. Nothing to be had while there. While I thought it was going to take me around one whole episode. Nothing to be had there. Jeez, I need to check the Demon Lord. I think he has something special. Demon. Nothing to oh, whatever. There. I don't care. Anyways, what you need to do here, let's read the almanac. This is very important. You learn how to forge uh, all weapons. Those are the strongest weapons in the game. And you also uh, learn about the heavy, well, the best armor for paladins and um, mercenaries. So, and you also found three other things. Now it's a small dusty book. If I find it. This. Oh, uh, I couldn't care less about this. It's some strange mist thing. Mist? Where did I get that from? But anyways, uh, the potion um, on the table was the Tears of Venus, which I think is needed for the... Uh, it, I think it's used by Paladins. It's a spell to uh, make your sword much more powerful. I can't find it here, but 
don't drink it or you'll burn to death. It's actually quite um, entertaining to see yourself burn to death. But don't drink it unless you're saved. And another thing is the map you got. Let's just see. There. Mm. And so that gives you the quest. Uh, I need a ship. And now I'm gonna finish up here because I have hardly any time left. So yeah, um, explore and right now, see you later.